1 Thessalonians 5 verse 21 Prove all things, hold fast to that which is good. Now, does it say prove all things except the round earth? Accept that as a, a given. Don't even bother investigating it. Does it say that? No. Proving all things. Job 26 verse 10. He has compassed the waters with bounds until the day and night come to an end. Here's a flat earth map. The outer bounds are made of ice. The oceans are literally compassed with an ice boundary that holds the waters in. The sun goes around the earth like this. Day and night come to an end only on a flat earth model. Day and night can't possibly come to an end on a ball earth model. 1 Chronicles 16 verse 30 The world also shall be stable that it be not moved. There's other verses just like this and it's all consistent. Clear as day. If the world isn't moving, then it's not spinning. Crystal clear. The earth is stationary. 1 Corinthians 3 verse 19 For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, he takes the wise in their own craftiness. If you take a literalist view, then wisdom of a global earth is literally foolishness with God. You've got to go outside the Bible and put your faith in science to believe the ball earth. The same science that the Bible denounces as false. 1 Timothy 6 verse 20, false science. Isaiah 66 verse 1, the heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. This is what a footstool looks like. It's not rocket science. It's got four pillars. Here's another one. How exactly are you mistaking this for this? What footstool spins at a thousand miles per hour? Justify yourself. You'll think things like, well, the Bible says footstool, but it really means a spinning globe. 1 Samuel 2 verse 8 For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and he has set the world upon them. Job 9 verse 6 The pillars thereof tremble. So the Bible is consistently clear. You're now in a position where you either reject the Bible and believe the earth is round or trust the Bible and reject the world view. You can't believe the Bible and at the same time believe the earth is round. That's like believing... 10 times 10 equals 50 and at the same time believing 10 times 10 equals 100. You can't do it. It's one or the other. Where do the pillars go on a globe earth model? Here's a modern depiction of the Hebrew view of the universe. We've got the earth on pillars. Sheol down here, a dome over the flat geostationary earth and all the stars, the sun and the moon inside the dome go around the earth. So what does the Bible say about stars? Matthew 24 verse 29 The stars shall fall from heaven. Mark 13 verse 25 And the stars of heaven shall fall. Revelation 6 verse 13 And the stars of heaven fell unto the earth. Now critics will say that the, uh, the stars out there are so big and the earth so small that if they were to fall to the earth, it would be like a, a trillion beach balls trying to hit a single grain of sand. And they'll say, that's not possible, so therefore the Bible is being allegorical. In rebuttal to that statement, I say, no, I believe the Bible is literal, and those stars are literally going to fall to the earth. Matthew 24, verse 24, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. So let's put this verse into a language that you might understand. You put your faith in a space agency whose acronym is one letter short of spelling out the word Satan. And when you look closely at their logo, they put the missing letter T in a lovely satanic red colour for your perusal. So now you're putting all your faith in an agency whose acronym actually does spell out the word Satan but you believe them and try to twist the Bible to fit their satanic worldview. Why bother pretending to believe the Bible if you're just going to dismiss what the Bible says and instead believe the exact diametric opposite? 
Exodus 20, verse 4. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness, of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath. So that rules out having a, a spinning globe on your desktop, because what's a spinning globe? It's a graven image that depicts the earth, and that's in direct violation to Exodus 24. So why was the commandment given uh, to not have those things about your house? Because it indoctrinates without even speaking. Put that spinning globe in a room and over time you'll think the earth is a globe spinning aimlessly in space and you're not far away from believing evolution. And you'll be incapable of ever seeing the, tr the truth just by having that thing around your house. It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth and they use that verse to support a round earth but there's a difference between a circle and a sphere Isaiah knew the difference between a ball and a circle because he describes a ball in Isaiah 22 verse 18 so why did he not use the same word for ball when describing the earth in chapter 40 is it because the earth is not ball shaped so here's absolute biblical proof Psalm 96 verse 10 King James Version says the world also shall be established that it shall not be moved King James Version equally that verse could support a ball shaped earth but it eliminates the possibility of the earth going around the Sun bear that in mind for a moment Psalm 19 verse 6 King James Version talking about the Sun his going forth is from the end of heaven and his circuit until the ends of it and there is nothing hid from the heat thereof if the Sun has a circuit then the Sun is not the center of the solar system as we've been told critics will say the Sun is on a circuit it circles the center of the Milky Way galaxy well if the earth is established that it cannot be moved but the Sun goes around the Milky Way then the Sun would fly off away from the earth and we'd never see it again so when the Bible talks of the Sun having a circuit it's talking about the Sun circling around the earth uh, Psalm 96 uh, he fixed the earth Psalm 104 5 I see there are plenty of verses that people use in this argument I know from an earthbound perspective this is exactly what we see the earth is fixed and that line of reasoning invalidates the Bible because if the prophets were writing about their own perspective then it's not the Word of God do you see I believe the Bible is literally true and all the prophets were inspired and not speaking from their own perspective